The U.S. President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump have tested positive for coronavirus and are now self-isolating. President Trump, age 74, is considered to be in the high-risk group. The president wrote on Twitter, quote, we will get through this together. It comes after Hope Hicks, one of his closest aides, tested positive for COVID-19. Joining us live to discuss this is Paul Ejime, international affairs expert. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Ejime. Thank you, Anita. Thank you for having me. All right. Obviously, Donald Trump is not the first leader to have contracted a virus. We have had the UK Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, Brazilian President, and others. What's so significant about Trump's case? Well, it's significant for uh, many reasons. One is that election is um, about a month um, away, um, <clears throat> November the 3rd, and also the fact that um, this is an uncharted territory for uh, America. Um, I mean, after the death of um, uh, J.F. Kennedy in uh, 1963, they took um, some measures about um, what should happen in case um, a serving president, um, you know, uh, is either is unable to continue or something um, unusual happens. And this is another unusual case, but uh, this time uh, election has not been held. So there are so many permutations. And remember that they are in the middle of a campaign. Uh, in fact, they just had uh, uh, one of the three um, presidential um, debates. Uh, that is supposed to take place. There will be uh, vice presidential debates. And what um, COVID-19 has also done in America, America, uh, you know, is leading the rest of the world in, in, in terms of debt. It has, uh, of the, it has um, um, you know, more than 7 million uh, affected people and then over 207,000 um, uh, deaths and counting. So and there has been the issue of um, the management of, um, of, of this disease. Uh, if you remember, opposition have been up in arms saying that um, uh, President Trump has not shown um, uh, leadership. If anything, he's um, not believing the uh, science. He thinks that um, at one point he said it will disappear. It's like a miracle. And then he refuses to put on uh, the mask, the simplest thing that anything. So. Is really the, the chicken coming home to roost. So do you think there'll be any life And in um, where America goes from here is, um, you know, uh, uncertain. Mm. Yes, ahead. I was going to ask if you think his COVID-19 status would likely impact his re-election bid. Very much so. I mean, well, he has now to go, uh, if he follows the science behind it, he has to go um, uh, self-isolation or quarantine for 14 days. And that will leave him with um, maybe another 14 days to either complete the campaign and then face um, uh, the election on, on, on November 3rd. So, um, and the fact that he hasn't really um, uh, conducted himself um, creditably, uh, he's uh, arranged, you know, as, uh, addressing um, campaign rallies without um, uh, uh, mask, uh, no social or uh, physical distancing. At the debate, remember, he was mocking um, for, uh, Vice President, um, uh, former Vice President uh, uh, Biden, saying that he wears masks all the time. He is saying that he's, he's showing what maybe some um, macho man, you know, showing that he's a big man, he can power it through. But it's not so. This um, uh, uh, virus does not respect um, anybody. Remember, you have said. Uh, the British Prime Minister had um, was almost escaped. You know, he said it was 50-50 that he survived. And then the Brazilian uh, uh, president. So it's not something that anybody should toy with. But he's, uh, it appears that he's playing politics with it. He's showing that um, he can defeat uh, uh, the virus. But you can only defeat by the virus by following the science, L listening to scientists who are advising about uh, protocol, uh, hand washing, uh, wearing of masks, Remember, there is no uh, vaccine at the moment. Even when there is vaccine, you have really to be cautious. But I don't think uh, the president, uh, the American president, has shown leadership or caution uh, that right, is required. Sir. So that is why 
it's um, you know very uh, dicey for him mm -hmm. for his re-election. Okay, jumping in quickly, Mr. Ajume, there's a conspiracy theory that this uh, may be intended to draw sympathy votes for Trump and possibly push the potency of hydroxychloroquine in treating COVID-19. Do you think there's any truth to that? Well, there have been as many, <laughs> uh, you know, you know uh, conspiracy theories as there have been people offering them. In fact, I've, I've read somewhere that probably uh, he is using this to make sure when he goes into um, uh, isolation, he will come out and then in two weeks' time, uh, bouncing back and saying, well, that uh, hydroglose, hydro, you know, the uh, chloroquine you might mention, uh, that that is what he used. Because he's been promoting that this drug. And uh, people are saying, well, maybe because of uh, economic interests. And nobody knows. With Trump, really, you can never be too sure. So there, there are, it's flying there, the um, conspiracies, and then uh, those who are pushing them. And um, some people are even saying that um, the whole um, uh, 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 pandemic is, um, is something that uh, has some political undertone or economic undertone. But it has also shown that since you can see people dying from it, um, I think people should take it uh, seriously. If you ask the, 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 the prime minister of, um, of, of Britain, I don't think he will uh, join those who will be uh, uh, dismissing uh, uh, COVID-19 as, uh, as a hoax or something that um, anybody should play with. So I think people should be able to distinguish, remove politics from it, follow the science, and then let's see, because it's not just one country. Remember, Indeed, more than Mr. 200 Ajime. countries and, Indeed, and regions Ajime. have been We're running out of time at so this have moment. To be very Unfortunately, this is where we have to draw the curtains on the conversation. Thank you so much for your thoughts. Thank you for having me. Thank you.